So, what do you think went wrong with this video? <laughs> you want to know what happened? What didn't go wrong? <laughs> um. Well, if you really want to know, so what happened what this was, was. How do you feel about Gavin? Gavin? Oh, that Gavin. The Gavin that never shows up. Oh, Gavin. Um, what a guy. Real piece of work, huh? Um, so we called him up a few times, and he said he would make it. Uh, no surprise, he did not. Ever, really. We have a set date, and he never shows up. I don't, like, I don't know what his deal is. He needs to get off his butt. I don't even know why we have credit to his name at all. Yeah. So, I heard he never showed up to any of the shoots. What do you have to say about that? So here's the thing, I... <laughs> My mom. She's in the hospital right now. And I just, I, I just have a lot of siblings. And it's just so hard to just take a time, just come and record, but I just, my siblings need my help. I'm sorry. I, I can't do this right now. Cut the cameras. I heard you guys shot at the mall. How was it over there? Oh, the mall, right. That was an interesting day on set. Oh, it was fantastic. One of the best experiences of my life. Not. No, I hated every second of it. Aaron's a butthole. So, I was a cameraman while we were at the mall, and I was supposed to just follow him and pan with him. I run out, and we have Candon, K-Man, right here, He's gonna do a pan, a whip, following me, and I don't even know what happened. And um, I fell into a bush, and I was there for a second. It, it, it hurted, like, it, it did not feel good. <laughs> hey bro, are you okay? No man, I'm not okay. <laughs> My ears burn. So I, I run, I commit to the role, of course, and I see that he's not behind me. And then I say, hey, are you uh, okay? And he seemed fine. And, um, you know, Aaron right, comes running up to me and he's like, so, um, what's going on? Are you okay? And I'm like, no. I'm just sitting there holding my freaking cheek and I'm just like, oh, Aaron. Oh, dude, you told me just fifth, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. And he's just not doing anything. He's just sitting there. He's just like, you okay? And then he just walks away from me. And then, like, I tried reaching out so I could get a help, right? So I can help get up, and he never gave it to me. So he's a little butthead, so I don't, I don't care. All right, I pulled the car up, helped them out. Uh, we kind of relaxed the rest of the set. Pretty simple day, I mean, it was just a trip, you know, all good. I'm okay, all right. What, what's, what, what's the next question? Uh, so, how do you feel about Ken falling? Uh, so, um, about Ken falling, that, that was a... Oh, it's my mom, hold on. Hello? Hey, mom. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the uh, interview thing right now. Oh, can I have chicken nuggets? Yeah. <laughs> Large Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you, Mom. Bye. All right. What was the question? So, the question was, how do you feel about Cannon following in the bush? Oh, uh, I, I didn't see that. What was it? Do you have a clip on you? Oh, thank you. It's hard. <laughs> it's um, it's 
It's horrible. It's bad. Um, you know, Aaron. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> So, Candy, do you remember following at the mall, right? Yeah. Here's what Gavin had to say about it. Oh. Oh. It's hard. <laughs> Why are you... I, 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 don't, I don't like anyone on my team, bro. Aaron, Gavin, like, all of them are freaking this. This is what's destroying our freaking community, our filming community. This is always talking behind each other's backs, bro. Like, this ain't good. Get, dude, like, get, get this out of my face, bro. Like, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to watch that. See, when people talk crap in the film community, it's, it's not good. It's just, it's, it's not rap. Like, I freaking Gavin. Yeah, we got to help each other out. Yeah, ex we got, we got to be a team. We can't be talking behind other people's backs, bro. Like, what? Huh? I, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna find them, bro. I'm gonna find them right now. So, you guys ever have any problems like looking at locations, like where you wanted to shoot? All the time. That was the biggest problem, man. Um, me and Candon, like, I'll, I'll give him credit. You know, the guy does have a bit of an eye, but for this specific project, like. You know, it just wouldn't work out. Um, when you have a real vision, you know, like a true, like, you see it here. It's hard to kind of show it to someone. So uh, th that guy just, um, he just wouldn't see it, you know. The thing about Aaron is when he sees something, he, 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 he thinks it's the best thing in the world. And I see it and I'm like, we, we could do better than this. So, you know, whenever he sees beauty, he sees his ego. And his ego, it's just, it's just so bad. It's just, it's just trash. Like, he, he doesn't think. Like, he, I don't even think he's using his eyes half the time, bro. It was kind of maybe a mistake, me bringing all the guys on board for this one project that I had. You know, I should have just maybe brought in my own really passive friend who really doesn't care. It would have turned out way better, you know. Trust me. Complete disaster. Uh, yeah, I, I just had it, you know. He wanted, he wanted to do nature, and I wanted to do modern. But I don't know why he wanted to do nature. He likes green. I don't know what's so interesting about green, and nature, and the sun, and plants, and death. And then you got modern, where it's just colors, and happiness, and beautifulness, and all the great things in the world, like, and I don't, I don't get it. I don't, like, Aaron's just a freaking man. He's just, he's just, he just wants to go out in the woods and be freaking caveman. Stink. He smells like a caveman, and and he thinks like one. So he, I think he needs to go get a better profession and go hit some rocks together. All right, so let's go left to the shrubbery, shady oak, you know. No. I think we should do modern. Me and Gavin had a specific conversation for half an hour yesterday. Gavin, really? Yeah. Gavin, the short little man, man man, dude. Um, I think he'd back me up on the, the No, the shrubbery I don't area. think he will, bro. Like uh, what are you talking about, bro? You were literally there. We had a half an hour discussion about where we were going to do this. He's going to Why are you switching up now? He's going to back me up. No, he's not. No, he's not. Well, then we're just going to have a change of plan. Bro, he's not going to uh, agree with you. I'll, I'll kick you out in this freaking snow right now, dude. What's wrong with you? Hey, Gavin's not going to agree with I'm you. Thinking about, we're going I'm thinking about the modern. Chronicles, Chronicles of Narnia Bro, with no, the snow. What? It will look awesome. Narnia? It will look Bro, awesome with the snow. Why are we doing Narnia? In, it, it will look we're in amazing. high school. We're not no. making a fairy tale. No, not like a fairy tale, but it just looks stoic I like the know. Chronicles of Narnia. We're doing modern. We're, I'm no. going to look like Iggy Zillion. Ah! Gavin, look up! We're doing We're the doing shrubbery. modern. The shrubbery. I did see the locations. I, I put it through like Google Maps and stuff, but... They, they choose the weirdest places ever. Like, Candon, he chose a crack den to go to one of the recording places. And then, freaking Aaron goes on Craigslist and finds a murder site where a murder... I, I just don't get it. And apparently, uh, Aaron, when they went to the abandoned mall, 
he found like some expired cologne that like no one wears anymore that was like from 1990s. Like that smells so, it, it's horrible. Like I can smell them from here right now. Like, ugh. This might be a weird question, but I've just some complaints about your smell. Oh, oh, actually, you know what? The, I'm actually kind of glad you asked. So I, I'm not sure where, where the weird part about it, maybe it's like a gag or an inside joke that they just play behind my back. Um, but really, that's uh, probably my cologne that I picked up at this spot. This is the craziest thing ever. This abandoned product, the Marco Rico from 1979. Uh, fun fact, uh, it was, um, this is exactly kind of where they got the idea for the hand steamer. But um, dude, this is like, like honestly, like, my grandpappy smelled like this in his prime and it's so good, like it's amazing. Can, you can, I, go, can I go smell it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know about Bridger, the guy that got brought in late? What do you think about him? Who? Who? Oh! Bridger. That guy's pretty cool guy, I'd say. Um, see, I brought him on because, um, funny story, I saw him at the mall and I remembered, like, like, I was like, he has a familiar face. And then where do I remember him? We were in Omega Delta Alpha. The fraternity, bro, back in the old college days. Um, I only attended for a short amount of while, but I remember he was in our fraternity house. Wait, the homeless guy we found at the mall? Yeah. Are you, are you talking about that Caucasian crackhead in front of the mall? Yeah. Wait, wait. No. Yeah. But Aaron, like, saw this, like, homeless guy sitting at the front of the mall. He thought it was, like, his, like, college partner or something. Yeah, no, Aaron like walked up to this Caucasian ass crackhead and he was like, hey, uh, we need an editor and you look like you have specialties in it. And he, he went on a rant about like, oh yeah, we used to be in the same fraternity and oh yeah, we did, used to do this and that. I was like, I, I swear this is the first time you met this man. Um, and I was like, bro, dude, like, what are you doing? Are you still uh, doing film stuff? And he's like, I, I asked him if he could um, work as an editor for me. And he was like, yeah, I can do that. It was like, sick. And so I finally had someone on my side that could help me out make this thing, bro. It was, I think things turned out well. Um, he kind of was a really rusty. Things kind of were a little weird. Um, so I just have him help out on set every once in a while. But um, it, was, it was a weird um, thing. But it all worked out kind of well. I don't know. It was weird. I just, like, sometimes I, f I worry about Aaron because he, he starts seeing things. But I don't know, Aaron's, Aaron's a strange guy. He, he tends to see things that aren't there. So. So, what do you think about Aaron? He says he made you in college and that's why you got the job. Oh, Aaron, yeah, so he talked to me. Um, you see, I wasn't making a lot of money what I'm currently doing, and so I just needed something a little extra. Uh, when he came up to me, I'm like, oh sweet, I'll take any jobs, uh, whatever it, it is. Um, he just needed me to edit some of his videos for this project at school, and so I was like, oh sure. See, I, I have no experience with editing, and I don't have a computer or anything, but you know, I took it up anyways. Um, I went to the library one uh, afternoon and just spent like a couple of minutes there editing his videos, and then, um, I think it came out really good for never having added any editing anything. So um, I think I did pretty good. I just needed the money, but the college thing. I never went to college, so I don't I don't know where he got that. Maybe he I looked like someone else, but I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know I know Aaron. Yeah. We had to close the interview for the day, so we'll pick it up next time. Hey Ken, I heard you quit in the middle of the project. Why was that? I mean, I don't want to tell you the reason exactly, but Aaron should know the reasons. He just didn't really see my vision, and so when you have someone who just doesn't have the vision, you know, you can't let one run apple spoil the whole barrel, right? All right, we're here. I guess. What do you mean? Aren't you talking about that modern over there? The building? Yeah. Oh, I thought you understood that we were gonna end it off the first place we started the film. The first scene is right there at the park, you know? But so here, why? here's the clip, bro. 
we have our little dude, the character, on that hill right there, and we'll have a shot of his back facing the park, and he'll be like, yeah, I triumphantly ended, you know, he's like on there, and he's like, but that's stupid though. It, it makes more the, sense if it's modern. Cause he's, you tie the film off nicely with the bow with the park, you know? Just trust me, just trust me. It'll work out well. You'll see my vision when we're in the editing room. It'll all work out. Nah, we're gonna have a nice time. You know I'll, you know I'll bring some no. sodas. No, 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 Come no. Come on, no, no. it'll be I'm good. Done. It's fine. Cause you already brought someone else. What? Yeah, you brought my, bu my buddy from college. Yeah, your buddy from college. He's just helping your buddy out on from set. College? Hey, it's homeless. Gavin wasn't here. He's for, a homeless guy. Gavin man, wasn't here. I need a. Buddy I don't though. care about Gavin. Gavin has an ego. What I'm saying is, I need a guy and to you. help out with the set. Look at this. I don't want to do this here. Like nature, I, I hate nature. I don't want to be out here. So you know what? You can do this all by yourself. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Wait, what are you doing? You can't quit on me. I'm not gonna give you credit. You know, he just knew it just wasn't gonna work out, and so I was like, okay, and um, that's uh, when I thought, okay, I'm gonna rely more on Bridger. So what was your name again? Oh, it was Bridger. Oh, Bridger, right, you're Camden's replacement, right? A replacement? For for what? Camden, the guy that quit, you're, you're the new guy now. Uh... I don't remember, I'm not... What's he do? What? Uh, he does, he does a camera work, you know? He didn't tell you about this? Oh, the dude I shook hands with? Yeah, he just said he needed help with like an interview or something. He was just gonna ask me a few questions and I followed him in. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm not really familiar with cameras or anything like that. I was just here to answer some questions, so. Dude, what, you lied to me. We were friends in college, bro. Remember, we were in Alpha Delta Omega. We were in college. You know, you know what I'm saying? Well, oh, we're... Dude, I met you like five minutes ago. I'm just here. No, no, dude, yeah. you, were the, you were the guy who was always coming in late. I, I remember you. I never forget a face. Um, so anyways, I'm thinking oh, that, thank you, um, that that we're going to finish this. <laughs> we're going to finish this, uh, boy. I got to get going, man. I know. Nah, man, we are finishing this film. My film is going to be completed. Um, why don't I, I just I, call I, it? I don't even hey, know Hey, Gavin, come here. You produce this. You're going like to you're gonna help things out, right? Okay, this guy put a ton of money into this thing. Me, I, I, I put I too much. I, I messed too much. You know what? Uh, we can pay you twenty five bucks. Gonna, we can pay you twenty five dollars. What do you think about Cannon quitting? Cannon quit? When did this happen? Like in the middle of the shoots, he just decided he wasn't gonna do it anymore. Huh? Well, not surprising, but I don't care. Are, are you are you serious? I'm so confused on what happened there. You know anything uh, about uh, it? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's, uh, it's all gonna be resolved. I don't think it will, actually. I think you just give up on this one. Like, maybe start a new um, one. Um, I don't think you really get how committed I am to this, because, um, I'm, I'm finishing this. I, I don't know if that's coming I'm, through. I'm, I am gonna turn this in within the deadline. It's gonna happen. I don't think it matters how committed you are. Like, you see the you see the end results? I think it's like restart from zero, you know? Um, build it up again, you know? I'm, I'm not the guy to scrap something, especially with how much stuff I had to deal with. It was too much, bro. I wrote, directed, and starred in what was gonna be the greatest thing ever. And yeah, there were a few delays, but it's gonna happen. Trust me, this project, I am gonna do Everything it takes to finish it, it's, it's, you might not see it, I, I can understand, I, I you're, you're not going to see it, but. It's worth it, it for what you're doing, you know, it's like, maybe brainstorm again, you know, get a few fresh ideas. Do you know who I am? I don't think, he, sorry, you do know you're, you're talking to Aaron, the, the gunner, Aaron the gunner Lund? I'm the gunner. Dude, I'm the guy who, who guns it down till I got it completed. Who cares if I you're literally got that nickname because back, back in 2005, I was there on the spot and I completed it for the Nebraska Film Festival down in the little area. It might not mean like much to you, but trust me, people are impressed when they see that on my resume. Okay, I, like everyone thought I was maybe like a little crazy, but. 
I want it. I, I want it through the hard work. They didn't just hand it out to me because I like freaked them out or something. Like I, I clearly I clearly want it, dude. I, I think you were so the only one. I am there. I am there. The one. I think you were. You were there, so you were you wouldn't understand. Um. What even is the set, bro? Why, why, why are you even documenting my thing? Why did you just sign up to document my stuff? Because you told me to. No, no, no. You're the one who came to me. You're like, this is going to be the best story of your life. You know, you're going to be like, I'm documenting this. This is going to Wall Street Journal. No. You're telling me like, hey, I'm going here with little Jimmy and Lowy. And, and we're, you know, like, dude. You're putting words in my mouth. Because you came up to me. You wanted me to document. Thank you for quieting your mouth. Um, I'm... Kind of losing it right now, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe I should just uh, just cut this off. We don't need the documentary thing at all. Um, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna stop it for you. Right now. Yeah. All right. See you, Aaron. Yeah. Um. Thank you. To apologize to Louder. Ken I'm here to apologize to Candom Williams to saying that I didn't care that he quit the film. Therefore, I will be sending a check to him for a hundred dollars each week to apologize for what I did. Is that good, Candid? No, better. Louder! Louder! I'm here to apologize to Cannon Williams. No, talk about your ego. My ego sucks and nobody cares about me and loves me. My mom is not in the hospital. I always lie and play video games. How, how big your ego now, huh? My ego is very small and I wish that... I, I, uh... Yeah, keep going. Better not stop, man. I wish that I can bring more stuff to our filming project. And whatever funds we get, we're donating to charity. That is right, we are donating to a charity of Candon's Choice. Take your ass home. Okay. <laughs>